Alrighty, folks. Hello and welcome to Rocking Ham Motor Speedway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Record a version of this broadcast well, at youtube.com slash John my Theodore. Opening qualifying left. Thank you very much and for I tuning in. Give me the checkered flag. It's next the time. Rock. Last race at the Rock for the week. Starting sixth in the number four Dr. Pepper special, courtesy of Spike. Last week's bet winner. Uh, 45 laps, no cautions. You guys know the deal. This is my eighth attempt here. So, I do not know if, uh, we're going to get a good shot. Is that the, is it Alan Bowman? Is that actually K1 Grizzly? Or is he just running K1's, uh, scheme? But that's awesome. So... We'll see. We got some good folks in good here. Luck, everybody. Race clean. 45 laps, clean race. Get to the end. Let's do All this right, thing. Man, ready. Special Special thing. Thing. Do the Watching you. <laughs> Which one are you talking to? 10 4, brother. Good luck. No, I think that's the stream notification he puts out every time I race. Ready. Reflex. No. I didn't suck. Outside. Dang it. Sorry, that was my fault. Money Go shift. Outside. What the hell is that? Clear. Uh -oh. Frickin' thing. I missed the gate. I went second to first instead of second to third. I'm very, very sorry for anyone who got caught up in that. I'm sorry. I you We're making a pet with that. I had a really good start too. I was gonna be to the outside of the nine, putting it three wide, super aggressive, gaining spots, and instead I did that. Thank you, Keith. No problem. No problem. Son of a gun. And I wrecked the K1 Grizzly car on top of all of it. At least I didn't hose the engine. Cutie Bear, thank you for the tier one sub. Much appreciated. Jaron, how's it going? H sifter, it, it's not so much that it's at a weird angle, it's just really easy to put it in the wrong gate if I'm not really focusing on it. It is one slight drawback of the Fanatec H shifter, and I guess of H shifters in general, is that, you know, unlike in a car where a car will prevent you from putting it in the wrong gate, this thing will just go into whatever gate you want to put it in. Just got to be better than that. I hope the 11's not waiting on me. He might be. This might be a revenge takeout coming up here. Outside. Nope, checking up. Outside is clear. I can't drive the track. I just can't do it, Billy. <laughs> this is a hard yeah, one. I didn't make Jeff proud. If the 11's mad at me, I really I don't blame him for it. I, I hooked him completely in the right rear, and it was so all my fault. Man. It was not of some stake, but it ruined his race and he qualified top five. But I gotta get around him and start getting after those two. Come inside, Andrew. Nine and twelve are playing nice. I don't want them to play nice. Thanks for the host, Graham Paul. Well, Chrome Horns are getting reset at the end of the week anyway, so. I can understand them wagering the whole shebang because if they don't get to first, it don't matter. Let you 
See, fourth has been my best finish here at the rack so far. Thank you. So yeah, the the eleven and six end up holding me up, I wouldn't be surprised. Those are the two that got caught up in that wreck. I wrecked the K1 Grizzly car, I can't believe it. Thank you, Six, appreciate it. Somehow I let the 12 get away a little bit. The reason I'm looking at the 12 is fourth has been my best finish, and I think that's where I need to get to get the points that I want to even just add a couple of points to my total for this week. Oh, third point, third point, third point, third point, Thank you for the sub fracture chain, much appreciated. Two months in a row, nice. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Carl Edwards doing the backflip, sub hype. Awesome stuff. Alright, let's see if I can get by the 11. After that nine. He's throwing it into those corners pretty good. Twenty three point nine seven eight. Outside. Still there, door. There we go, clear so far. Outside, outside. And I lost it. Now I'm clear. 24.703. Thanks for the room, the 11. The 11. All right, so 1.9 seconds to gain on the nine car. A lot more than that to gain on the 12. 20 laps completely. Got to back up my turn three more than that. That was bad. 3 are gone barring some kind of catastrophe that's either self-inflicted on their part or inflicted by a lap car. So and even fourth place is starting to look out of reach. I've got my work cut out for me to get fifth to be honest. Thank you. Two seconds and about 20 laps that you know 
averaging about a tenth a lap. If you are a tenth a lap quicker than someone else, that's usually doing pretty well. So I'm gaining a little bit. Closing that gap down and reeling them in. Been in this position so much recently where I'm in sixth place trying to run down a guy for fifth to get that different, you know, that difference between fifth and sixth is it's just one position but psychologically it's so much different because it's a track stat versus not and it makes a difference in the bets so I've failed to get you guys that top five a bunch this week I really want to try to get it right now Just focus, run clean laps. 24.169. I thought you were going to crush it. Sort Missed my entry a little bit there. The there. Leader, go low. Tracking him decently. Thank you. Lost ground in three and four. Lost a tenth of a second over the course of that lap. Come inside on the next turn, Andrew. Working the bottom inside. Yeah. That's everything that I can do just to hold on to sixth. That just cost me any shot I had at a top five, most likely. Thing just sailed on me right into the wall. Trying to get back to the seven to get around him for sixth. I'm just disappointed in myself. This is not a strong drive. I still want to get last. Of everything else, I bent my ride. Twenty-four point three six three six X. This will do some damage to the old safety rating as well. I feel like I'm driving a little bit cleaner line than the seven. I might be able to get back by him. Just too many mistakes this week. I had some bad luck all week, but it's my own personal mistakes that have really made it, you know, compound. Would have been probably a stagnant week I would have just run clean and had the usual bad luck, but the mistakes on top of that have really compounded some things.
Joseph, I'm coming to the inside here, bud. Alright. 24, 24, Fulker State. Thank you, Joseph. Yep, four tenths back. Joseph Fry's been so bad, he probably should have hit it on the first lap, although it's hard to make that call. But it probably would have worked out better for him if he had done that. Thanks, Joseph. Clear. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm back on the seven now. Good momentum. Same mistake as I made, just a little bit too much gas too early. Caused the thing to push. Lost time when I could have gained it. Now I'm a half second back. 24.678. Only six laps to go. May as well knock the wall down one more time just for good measure, right? Hey, Moose Pie Atwood, how's it going? 24.554. Took it way wide there. That actually helped my cause a little bit. Of course, I lose it all in three and four again. 24.624. Yeah, I've dropped back to a full second back now. Scraping the wall again. Just trying to get the best possible angle on turn three, but I'm messing things up. 24.679. Uh, I just, I just uh, pick out mods uh, who, you know, the mod pool is generally people who've been with the channel for a long time and, uh, you know, have shown that they really kind of embody the spirit of the community. It's basically what it is. I'm pretty random about when I hand them out. Yep, seventh place. I'm just mad at myself on this one. 24.844. What a frustrating, what a, that's a fitting way to cap off a frustrating week of Rockingham. Making bonehead mistakes on the start. And driving like garbage throughout the course of the race. Think I that door. Son of a gun. I cannot drive a hot man to a snow bank around this place. Cycle, man. So, uh, good job, good job. Ran hard today. Good job. Sorry, Ben, got, again about the start, guys. My bonehead mistake. Just, I've been trash all week at this place. That uh, shit happens. Jack Nader. 
Brutal. What kind of shift are you using, John? Great. There wasn't any issues with them at all. Fanatec CSL Elite. Or, sorry, yeah, the Club Sport, Fanatec Club Sport Shifter. Yeah, you've had trouble with it before. I've seen some of your videos where you've had some issues. All right. Chrome Horn recap. That's me being an idiot right on the start, taking two guys out. like Bill won the bets. I just need to, you know, be, pay more attention. That's all there is to it. It's as simple as that. It's, it's mental lapses, I think, that are causing it more than anything. That was definitely what caused some of my other issues in the race. Victoria's Secret car did not have a good run today. Paddles probably are faster, but again, it's an H pattern car, so part of it's for the immersion. I could do paddles, not That was... <laughs> there you go, Mod Rim, just like that. Perfect. That's exactly how I'm feeling. Oh, I know H pattern isn't faster. Oh, you can queue up shifts, but I don't use it that way. If I used it that way, I wouldn't be having the issues that I have. Anyway. So yeah, if you do that, it technically would be faster, I think. And maybe I should just start doing that. 7th placed, I gained 6 I rating, didn't improve my points would have if I would have gotten to fifth I would have had my best points finish lost 0.07 safety dang it man that sucks well uh so let's see Bill K Alt is the uh, bet winner so I keep track of that in a document here. That's two weeks for him this season. So uh, I'll send him a whisper and uh, let him know that he gets to pick the... Uh, Let's see. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Time to reset the bets. Taka, you finished fourth. Congratulations to you. Sounds like you did better than I did. Bets are reset. And uh, it's time to run some uh, Brickyard.
I finished seventh. Yeah, no, there are definitely advantages to the eight shifter. I like the eight shifter. <laughs> Thank you, Mova Avenger. Much appreciated. Good old Bob Ross never uh, never fails. My community tends to like my mods. Um, and vice versa. The, mod, the mod, mods are what, you know, enforces what makes the community good in this channel. So, yeah. G. Benson, how's it going? Welcome. <sighs> you forgot your remod. See, that's that's how little uh, my mods have to do. They forget they're even mods. Yeah, I remember Plumlee made you and me mods, I think, when he was having some issues. Uh, no NIS this week, Fractured Chain. They'll be running next week at Darlington, and then week 13 it'll be at Indy, so iRacing put a fixed at Indy this week, so there won't won't be any a fix on week thirteen. <laughs> you guys are all OP in my heart, and that's what matters. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to want to run in terms of brake bias and stuff. Probably want to run the brake bias down a bit. Let's see what she's feeling like. This could be rough. Indy has not historically been my best track at all. Ream, you play a setup Corsa? Interesting. Get to get free I rating in the B car this week. Nice. Oh, it's the B car's at a road course, isn't it? Heck yeah. Owen's gonna be kicking some tail in the road course. All right. Four tunnel turns. That is not how you do it. Just trying to get into a rhythm. Just not good at it. I don't dislike it, I just need to get better. I need to get into a rhythm, get breaking points correct. Not hit the wall. Not drive 51s. Not overdrive the corners, just stop making mistakes, John. Stop making mistakes. Drive better.
seems like I don't need to break for the coroners that come after the short suit. So that might help some. 51.80 I'm not even really paying attention to the delta bar thing trying to pick out points on the track. That thing isn't worth anything yet because I haven't put in a lap worth tracking. How much does the uh, run an Indy in the Indy car actually help out in the stock car? I feel like not a lot would transfer over, but I could be wrong. Twenty cars blinking like crazy. Inside. No inside. It's the same Keith Clear Birch above. that was in the. Uh, Rocket cam race. Oh, jeez. Indy just drives like a road course. I guess that's fair. Yeah, long straightaways. Yeah, my flat corners. Yeah, I got. It. Back them up. Well, and you are a certified road course ringer, as I've pointed out in the past, so... Gotcha. I'm not surprised that you're good here. Inside, inside. inside. Yeah, someone was talking about that yesterday. Hey, there's Reese Bayham. He's fast here. Why can't I be fast here? Let's see if we can just follow these guys. Outside. Maybe not. Not going to be a fast lap when I pass those guys, but... Oh, fair enough. Thanks for the warning. quicker on this lap. <laughs> uh, Jerron, right now I'm just on default. I don't know what anyone else is using. I 
I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm pretty terrible here, so I wouldn't use what I'm doing at all as reference. Yeah, it's my first time racing here at the shop of these cars, so that's how it's fun. I think it's my second time here at these cars. I'm still pretty bad here. The good news is these cars don't feel like they're on a freaking high. We do got two weeks left before the end of the season, so hopefully they do some minor fixes on the cars. They won't fix them before week 13. That's when the new Camaro comes out, I found them. Huh? I have all my best those. They, they, they wait so long to get out here, it's ridiculous. I'm also not sure if what the needs fixing is these cars or what they're based on. Get some better lap times now. Hot bangers command and move out might be admittedly a little bit long. I want to shorten it up a little bit. Okay. No, but I, I got the ball right there. I, I think you can down. rename move out. I've just chosen not to. Or maybe you can't. Slow down earlier. Who the hell's running fifties? I can't get near it. They didn't black flag me for unsafe pick and exit, I'll take it. Uh, they got yes, it. they did. When you leave the pit, wow. pick up a landing line. Make sure you're All right, aware cutie bear, good night, brother. Stop and go, oh, hey, stop, John, and go stop, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. It's going all right, man, how you doing? Uh, this is the first time I actually in a race with you, or in a practice session with you. Pretty cool. Good deal, brother. I'm, uh, I'm also streaming right now, so, um, like I said, thank you for uh, inspiring me to start streaming, though. I, I do appreciate it. Your streams are kind of cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Anytime I... I always like it when I get an opportunity to pay it forward to someone else starting up. Yeah, I just started. Now all I need to do is figure out how to get the, the leaderboard on my Twitch. Like, uh, like what do you mean, Shaben? I'm not sure I understand the question. I'm not sure if you need another monitor for that. I'm not sure. Another monitor for what now? Uh, he has a Logitech G920. Uh, that shows like what people hit and uh, just a whole leaderboard that they wanted to race. I don't know how that, how you have that set up. That's uh, Kutu apps. Um, if you watch my uh, the long tutorial video, I'll show you how I set everything up for how I do it. Okay, uh, I'll probably check it out for this race. 
Good deal. Yeah, you got to set up with an overlay, don't you? Yeah, it, uh, but it only runs on the stream. None of that stuff is on my end game. Outside. Do you have another monitor for that, or no? I I do have another monitor, but that's only because I use I use the other monitor to read chat. Um, you could run all of the stuff that I'm running on a single monitor. You just wouldn't be able to see the chat. Yeah, the overlay is pretty much what it does is, is it just sits on top of your head stream on your video, but your actual in-game footage, you don't see it. Okay. Yeah, Kutu's got um, real good tutorials on uh, his site for setting it up. It's pretty easy. When I calibrate the wheel, I just do it normally. Just search for Q2 apps, K-U-T-U. -T -U. All right, thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I just run it straight up, Shea and when I calibrated, I didn't do anything goofy with it, if that's what you're asking. Sideways. He's over driving the corner, something fierce. Having trouble getting a clean lap, I should just run. And just get laps. Don't have that many. I'm not going to run a good hot lab in this session. Kind of resolved myself to that reality. Hopefully, though, this ends up being, you know, a decently clean race. some good practice in here. Oh Hopefully we can have a decent, Go high. Go high. decent week here at Indy. Gain back some safety rating. I feel like those walls are jumping out and making contact with my car when they really shouldn't be. Oh yeah, Mod, we're still trying to climb back to 4K. I actually did gain a little bit of I rating in that race at Rockingham, so even though it wasn't a very good race, I gained a little. 51.779. The I rating is going to be what it's going to be, though. I'd like to have it back up. You know, once now that I've had it over 4K and I kind of think of myself as a 4K driver, I want to have it back to that point, but. It will be what it is. Can't force your IR to be any different. It's just going to be a reflection of how you're doing. I need to drive better. Well, my goal is to drive better. The I rating will uh, go up or down accordingly.
All right. Tehran says let off at the two. Felt like that was a little bit too early, but I'll try that again. What I should really do is watch Gabriel's lap time and see where he's letting off. Let's do that. Yeah, Bristol messed me up a good bit too. Let me see. He lets off and breaks right at the one. right down to that white line. Thought he got a little bit below it in, one and two, in turn one. He was right down to it in two. Letting off the one and breaking. Right down to the rumble strip in three. And then turn four, down there again. Okay. Pit exit is so weird here. It just messes with you. That's better. It's all about straightaway speed at this track. Three, two, one, braking. I've got it down to a 51-0 potentially. 51 braking. There we go. Hey, hey, got it under a 51. That makes me feel a little bit better. Still six tenths off of where I need to be, but that's at least something to grow on. Yeah, my braking mark was the one, Frank. Brake bias down at 62 and a half feels pretty good. I can maybe even go lower than that. Hold on, they were. I think I'm letting off too early in the short suit as well. That's the next one is I'm maximizing turn the entry into these corners now. Now I need to get the short shoot keyed up properly. Ooh. 
good luck to you. Okay. Uh, you guys are great. Uh, let's have fun. Okay, good luck, everybody. 51.5. I couldn't tell you, Frank. I haven't had the tires warning yet. <laughs> I would expect so. Tater B donated 10 bucks. Thank you, Tater. The tater! Thank you, my brother. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was tater that I wrecked. <laughs> Dang. Ten bucks towards a new shifter. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Well, welcome, Tater. Appreciate you. Sorry. Sorry very much about that, Rick. That's funny. Glad he's a good sport about it. Tater's the one that I got into the, that got me into the DRL. <laughs> Don't be Roberto Guerrero. Fair enough, Russ Curl. You guys should check out my uh, dad's YouTube channel. Check out some of his music there. Listen to the stuff. If you like it, throw a like on there so that he knows that you listen to it. And uh, subscribe to his channel. <clears throat> I still need to get his stuff on Spotify. Uh, don't be Roberto Guerrero, man. <laughs> You're on the high rating climb. Yeah, man, sorry, dude. It's just I've been having issues with this thing, and as you know from watching my streams and from the DRL because I money shifted it when I was leading at Daytona. Ugh. That was a different kind of money shift, though. I actually went up into fifth. Somehow. Your account's Alan L. Bowman. Good deal. Now I'll know. Your band Inward. I do like rock metal, Grandpa. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> that is a good looking paint, man. I like K1. K1's definitely a friend of the channel. All right. We got, I'm in the number 20. This is going to be a uh, very high I rating field. We made it to top split. Number 20 out of 25. This could be rough. Well, we'll see where we qualify. Should be really good at the tunnel turn at Pocono after this week. since every corner here is practicing the tunnel turn at Pocono. Hey, hey, thank you, G. Benson, for those biddies. Much appreciated. All right, Tater, good luck to you in the DRL, man. Swing back after it's over and let us know how you did. Actually, even better, if uh, anyone in chance want, chat wants to Keep an eye on the uh, DRL broadcast. Let us know how Tater's doing. Green flag. Let's 
son of a... They're doing a, that's right, they're doing a full length Grand National race at Bristol tonight. That would be fun. Flag me for that. Nope, good deal. <sighs> All right, let's see if I can not mess this lap up. It's not quick, but at least I haven't hit anything. Actually, Complaining about it not being quick, ran a 50.8, which is not terrible. A little bit of practice I did has paid off, apparently. Still not super fast, but I'm getting better. Still uh, over a half second off of where I need to be. Yeah, the top guys are getting in the threes. Some guys getting in the fours, so still pretty slow here. But at least I'm not going to get Jordan Forth's Drunk Driver of the Race Award for being the solo qualifier. Just got to keep all the fenders on it, keep it clean. Hey Dawson, bro, still running the Corey paint scheme in this one. I'm still keeping the Corey Bush scheme on the A car changing up some of the other ones. Don't know yet what I'm going to run on the National Series car. Waiting for Bill K. Alt to get back to me on that. Bet winner Bill K. Alt from last week. One to go. You'll be starting on the outside. It's open. No, close, close. Yep, John, I guess. Well, the lap, Sean. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Yeah, nice lap, Sean. Thank, thank you, guys. Took a damn picture of it, so it'll never happen again. <laughs> yeah, I'm clearly, that, this was the best lap I've run so far. Still learning how to drive this place. I'm probably right there with you, Sean. I'll never see this lap again either. I pulled this one out of my ass for sure. <laughs> Pet money shaved off. Picture saved. Uh, yeah, K Graham A fixed. Good luck, guys. That money shift is becoming my signature. I'm sure we'll see. Oh, geez. Or some I just realized I've been recording the YouTube video this whole time. 
So that's going to be an extra long YouTube wanted. video, potentially. I might just kill it. It definitely has a Anyway, one. uh... Another, <laughs> Another one for the shifter, shifter fun. fun. Alright, so I'm going to cut this Sean video. Butler's America's you guys Butler. watching this one, if you made it all the way in, hit like for sure. Shut up. I'm going to wrap this up and get it over to the next one. Sean Butler.